Welcome to the historic dockyard in Chatham. And today, I want to do some extreme long exposure photography with the brand new three-legged thing, Charles 2.0, and my OM system OM5. Yeah, when I say extreme long exposure photography in bright daylight, means that I need a little help. So I said long exposure photography. And uh, when I say long, it's actually pretty long. Not the usual half a second thing in bright daylight like this. I know live ND can do something, but what I'm trying to achieve is something way longer than that. Maybe a few seconds, maybe even 15, 20 seconds in bright daylight like this. So I'm gonna need some help. First of all, I can't handhold that long. So I'm gonna need a tripod. So this is it today. Uh, this is the three legged things brand new. Charles 2.0. This is basically the aluminium version of their very popular professional Winston carbon tripod. It has the same capacity, same build, uh, same height, same capacity, same everything. The only difference is just the material and also the price. This is a lot cheaper. So I want to give it a go to see how stable it is. I know Winston's very well. So, you know, even though they said it's the same capacity, I would just want to test it out, right? And second thing, I'm going to be using my OM5 to do some long exposure shot. And like I mentioned, it has live ND, but if I want to do anything longer to have some really nice blurred cloud formation, I probably need some help with my filters. So I'm going to use my HMY system with 10 stopper. So that should be dark enough to slow it down. Let's go. So first of all, should I try the uh, submarine, the Ocelot? And this is amazing. We came here last, uh, earlier this year actually, and uh, with my family. And today actually I am with them. I'm just taking some time out and uh, hopefully uh, I can uh, film this today for you guys to see. Uh, because Ocelot is actually a very cool submarine and you can actually go inside. So if you come here um, to this uh, historic dockyard and buy the ticket and uh, you are entitled to actually go in um, to the submarine. It's only about 15 minutes tour, so it's not a very long tour. Um, but you can see, you know, the, the inside of the submarine, how it works. So it's amazing, absolutely amazing. One thing I like about the OM5 is, of course, tiny, right? Look at this tiny little pouch. And there you go. So uh, today, my main lens and the only lens is the uh, Panasonic Leica 9mm at 1.7. Now, trying to get everything very light. And because what I'm shooting, I think having an ultra wide should give me a more exaggerated, more dramatic uh, uh, shot. Um, hopefully, when I blur the clouds using the uh, long exposure, it should give me even more of a drama when it comes to it. So one thing about the uh, Charles 2.0, in fact, the Winston tripod is the height. These things can go all the way up to two meter. Crazy, right? So there you go. This is a subject right in front of me. I'm going to set up my camera. I'm going to use my filters in a minute and put it in front of the tiny little 9mm 1.7. And uh, yeah, that should slow it all the way down. I should be able to blow all the clouds and see some really lovely streaks across the sky. The only thing is, is in the wrong direction. It's going from left to right at the moment. I would like it perpendicular to the camera. So that would be like kind of going basically straight on, but it isn't. And uh, well, it is what it is. I can't control the weather and I can't control the timing either. Uh, so <laughs> just have to see how it goes, but should get some nice shot. Let's give it a go. All right, there we go. So one of my challenges would be that I either take out the filter uh, for focusing first, then I'm going to put in the filter because the pen stopper can severely hamper the AF. Uh, of course, you can use manual focus, but while well, this system is magnetic, see, good, right? Magnetic system, snap on, slap off. And that means that you can just easily just take it off and focus and recompose and then put on the filter. Nice. Right, I just discovered that 11 seconds is not enough. So what happened is now I have turned on the Air Life ND using ND16. That's the maximum the OM5 can offer, plus the 10 stopper. Now my exposure time comes up to 50 seconds. 50 seconds should do the job, right? Let's see what happened. I can't wait to see what happened. <laughs> oh. Right, 
as I expected. Um, even 50 seconds with no breeze, the cloud's not moving. <laughs> so uh, I think that I would need to wait for a slightly windier day to test the theory. Well, in, I think, in theory, it should work properly. And, uh, but unfortunately, it is what it is. And this is just what I have today. Uh, but at least the tripod is very, very stable. Seriously, you know, this is a 50 second shot. I turned off the, uh, the IBIS in the camera. Um, they're just purely relying on the uh, uh, the tripod itself because I don't want any interruptions because you know sometimes electronic can be a little bit iffy, especially when the IBIS thing that oh, there may be a little bit of movement and suddenly there's a bit of a compensation there, unwanted compensation. That means that it will start going a little bit wobbly. So I don't want that. So this is purely mechanical stabilization just from the Winston tripod. And that's all it is, not Winston. I keep saying Winston, Charles 2.0. So a lot of people don't understand what an L bracket is for. Well, first of all, an L bracket is like an L. It basically has arc of sweep plate on either side. Um, so, so once you level your ball head or whatever head you have, and if you want to do a 90 degree shot, do a vertical from landscape to vertical or the other way around, all you need to do is just flip the camera. And that's all you need to do. You don't have to re-level it, readjust the ball. Everything is cool. There you go. Hopefully I just explained it. Hopefully well enough to, with demonstration. <laughs> So what have I learned so far with my uh, extreme long exposure experiment? <laughs> well, uh, for bright daylight shot like this, depending on what you want to blur out, and uh, my purpose today is to blur the sky. And it didn't happen because there is no wind. Unfortunately, there's no wind whatsoever. That means the clouds are not moving. No matter how long I set exposure, it's already a 50 second shot with Lion Life ND employed uh, within the camera. So that didn't really work out. If I want to blur out city, uh, uh, just people in the cities, and that should be a lot easier to do. Uh, but today, for my purpose anyway, it just didn't work. Uh, but other than that, uh, I'm like I said, I'm also testing the uh, the Charles Hupon of stability, and this is phenomenal, really phenomenal. I switched off the IBIS and the OM5, and purely relying on the stability of the tripod itself. And uh, this is what I usually do anyway, if we want to put something on the tripod. I don't want any unwanted uh, uh, kind of uh, electronic interruptions because you never know ibis can be sometime a little bit weird you know i mean starting to detect some kind of movement it thinks it has some movement and try to overcompensate and you suddenly got this jitter even though having said that you know this is an ultra long exposure shot so the, the effect should be minimized but still you know i just want it to be safe <laughs> anyway um apart from that um this is really good and uh i i think that uh if you guys haven't been here before the historic dockyard uh it's a phenomenal place for not only family but adult as well you can like i said you can get onto the submarine um at the moment they have the uh, deep sea monster show at the moment my kids were fascinated by it i'm gonna go and join them now maybe take a few more uh, a long exposure shot just to try a few different angles to see uh, if I can get more shots and uh, just to see how whole experience because I'm testing at the moment I will be doing more uh, long exposure photography uh, in the near future and uh, so this looks like the Charles Hupner will be my default tripod uh, because it's just so stable and uh, the camera works fine the uh, obviously the LEL bracket also works really good the 10 stopper is good enough uh, but I need more experience as well uh, from this point of view. So I'm going to try a different combination. I do have some other grads. Uh, maybe I have to double, it, double them up just to see whether I could achieve even long exposure, even longer exposures, um, just to see if, what sort of effect I can create. Maybe, you never know. Uh, so stay tuned for all my long exposure stuff and uh, I'll slowly revealing them uh, in this channel. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it too. Until next time though, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now. Well, I did say that this uh, Charlie 2.0 or Winston, uh, if you choose for the carbon version, how tall it is. Look at this.
my OM5 is right up there. This is ridiculous. This is like really, really tall tripod. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy your, your, your day. And uh, remember, if you want to see more uh, long exposure stuff that like I mentioned in, earlier in the video, uh, is to stay tuned because I will be doing a series of different photography uh, based on long exposure and uh, uh, you know in all kinds of lighting conditions uh, whether it's bright daylight nighttime is a lot easier of course and uh, but bright daylight is the challenge so hopefully I can achieve something amazing so uh, remember stay tuned and uh, remember subscribe put a bell notification so you won't miss any episode from me until next time though I better continue and uh, do some more photos my day out today you should enjoy it <laughs>